Hey everybody, this is Asher, and today we're playing some Crypt of the Necro Dancer. We're playing around in the Codex, and you may notice I'm somebody different. This is Bard. Hi, Bard. And we're going to be doing just a quick four series of videos here, and you'll notice these videos are pretty short. And we're going to go over the Master Advanced Techniques sections of this. Now, there are four different places to go through Dragon Lore, Trap Lore, Bomb Lore, and how to get away with murder, not the TV show. So we're going to start with Dragon Lore and kind of jump in. Bard, what you need to know with him, and you can play him the moment you unlock the Codex, is that he does not play music at all. So when I jump in the Dragon Lore, you will see that nothing moves while I wait. But when I move, everybody takes a move kind of afterwards. So Dragon Lore is not too difficult of a challenge. But you're going to see here the dragon's starting to heat up, and I move to the right, and we've got to actually dodge right here. So I'm going to jump up here, dodge the flame go up here. They're going to notice there's a knife up here. When I was doing this challenge originally I thought okay maybe I should throw it but that's actually not what you do at all. This challenge teaches you a pretty important skill called buffering. Buffering is going to be something that hopefully I can demonstrate here pretty well. But all it is is you can move time by jumping back and forth and this is the same even with real-time characters like Cadence. But when he gets to right here, you're going to notice that I can't really get a good hit in, but if I jump against the wall, he'll move. Yay. So we want him to actually do that. No, we don't. So the idea is to actually not derp against the wall or anything, because of course I get fat fingers now. But we just want him to come say hello to us and hopefully not swipe us at all, because he has an opening to attack right now. So if we jump over here, and then jump against the wall twice, this is how you buffer. It's just a little dance on your own. Jump twice against the wall, go back and forth, and even the tiniest knife can go and slay a dragon. So there we go, just like that. Dragon lore, done. Not so bad. Doing it in real time, a little more tricky, but you hopefully you're not fighting him with the dagger. But even then, same rules kind of apply. I remember when I was scared of red dragons at first. They're still pretty scary, but dragon lore, not so bad. Hey everybody, this is Asher, back with more Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Today we're doing Trap Lore. This is going to be a short video just to demonstrate how to get through this challenge. Hopefully I don't fat finger it too much. This one, not quite as difficult as dragon lore once you understand what buffering is. Buffering, for those of you who may not have watched the last video, involves actually doing actions against the wall to t pass time. Now you're playing as Bard, who actually does not do anything or there's no music associated with him he only, other enemies and everything moves only after he does so you'll notice i start here by buffering getting that ghost to go behind me the reason is is that this trap will normally make me jump back but if i go like this and the enemies in the way I don't jump back i get the dagger and i can just stabby stab there we go now you have the next trap here and once again if i jump into it right now i'm gonna have a bad time but if i buffer once twice you see that he's confused, and that's actually a confusion trap where you lose your sense of direction. So I'm going to walk over it and get confused as well. You hit left, for those of you who don't know how to do that, because that actually reverses your direction quite a bit. So we'll make sure we don't get killed here. There we go. Ah, I just did it to myself again. Anyway, next area. Okay, we have the Ring of Courage. The Ring of Courage, for those of you that do not know, actually gives you a swipe attack or if you move forward you attack here so I was originally very confused how to do this all you gotta do is step forward and you'll get the as long as you uh, attack and hit something and move forward you just gotta be brave you have courage if I walk over those again those will kill me next is long jump some of you may have noticed me getting this in one of my earlier videos and I was very confused about what to do you jump over just fine but notice if you jump twice you'll immediately get squished uh, someone in the comments was very kind to point out to me that it's toggleable. so if you press up and down at the same time you turn them off you can just jump once, turn them on again, jump big, turn them off. And then finally we get lead boots, which just lets you squish over traps. Easy peasy, not so bad, especially once you know buffer it. Hey everybody, this is Asher, back with more Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Today we're doing bomb lore of the Codex. And this one's actually not so bad. This is just going to be a short video to demonstrate this challenge. So you see right here we have a Minotaur. Minotaurs are very friendly, right? Wrong. Okay, so what do we do to get this Minotaur to actually play with us? We have a bomb right here. If I just kill the slime, this Minotaur will eat me. But if I drop the bomb here and jump back twice and buffer, Minotaur says hello, goes to the side. Now the way you fight Minotaurs is actually have them run into walls 
and chase after you. That's not how you fight a Minotaur. What I did wrong there is actually I pinned myself in, which I shouldn't have done. I got a little greedy jumping into there. So if we go like this and he'll go around, we can do kind of just ole. Here we go. Ole. It's like we're bullfighting. Just going to be very patient. He's going to charge at me again. This time I can just stab him in the face, maybe. Here we go. That's one bomb. Like I said, I feel a little silly for not doing that right. And then we have another area where I'm going to jump immediately on this bomb peg. Now what to do here is that you want to actually buffer so that you're not getting shoved back when the explosion happens. So as long as you jump back there, you're all right. Kind of same situation with this area here is that there's a trap. You actually need to have that trap. If I just walk over it now, I'm dead because you start with half a heart. But there is a, a little monkey friend there. And if you remember from the dragon lore thing, this monkey will actually save you from harm. See? The bomb just blew him up. Kind of like the fire breath just blew him up. So, overall, bomb lore, not so bad as long as you remember, oh wait, don't run into the minotaur. That's just the point of the challenge. Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Today we're going to talk about how to get away with murder. Not that crappy television show, but actually the challenge here. And this is probably the trickiest challenge, very rewarding for you to figure it out on your own, but I'll be honest here. I figured out most of it on my own, but there was one that really stumped me, and it's not the one you think. So, let's jump in. Now this is a very simple how to kill the shopkeeper. If you've played Spelunky before or other similar games, you know killing the shopkeeper can be quite a boon, and that's the same here. So we're going to just talk through these first challenges, because right now, if I just attack the shopkeeper like this, he'll just kill me right away. So shopkeeper, bad. And it's actually kind of plays out like that in the real game as well. Not that this isn't the real game, but we get a fire spell first. This fire spell will shoot horizontally. So if we go like this, we aggro the shopkeeper. He's just about dead. That was greater fireball. So we get the crown of greed, which is actually a very good item to have in of itself. And sometimes worth killing the shopkeeper just to get. Now, second one, and by the way, just know you can go past through these doors again. That'll be important later. Two bombs. Typically, if you have two bombs, you can kill a shopkeeper in game. How you want to do it though is for those of you that do not know you can actually stack bombs on top of each other so like this two three four he's a little mad at me he's a little madder but then i just move up once because remember we're barred so he's not moving in real time doing that in real time is a little trickier but just all you gotta do stack two bombs on each other and then hit him once not so bad this challenge is this one is not really the challenge one temporary shield which is an item that keeps you from getting harmed and then a bomb as well so all we're going to do is just lay the bomb here jump 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 here he comes use the temporary shield up and right and then you can just swat away even with your one damage weapon until he's dead that's probably the, probably the easiest one in this whole challenge next one is a little less intuitive but you got to know your items over here we get the bomb and we get the ring of war i think that's what it's called yeah but one thing that the item description does not say as we're just going to demonstrate here is that it has knockback so if we challenge this guy right here, now he's going to come towards us once. This is where buffering once again is important. So we jump against the wall once, and then anytime I slap him, he's going to fall back. Now if I jump to him here, he will kill me. So I buffer, back, forward, back, dead. Double coins and more things. All right, next, next part of the challenge is actually not so bad. This is a great item just to pick up in game in general. Now I cannot actually swipe and attack this guy. But what I can do is throw the dagger at him to aggro him. He'll hit me once, get automatically frozen. That means that I can just swat at him right away and kill him. It's not so bad. It's just you got to not be scared. You got to throw the dagger at him and make him move. The way that works is that he can't attack, and for some reason the greater freeze actually nullify the damage. Now here's the last part of this challenge, and there's two ways to do this: the fancy way and the uh, not as fancy way. And unfortunately here, at least what I'm going to be showing you at this point, and I'll have a separate video for the fancy way here. And this was the part that I uh, tried, this was the one, I actually got stuck on the bomb one a, f a little while ago. This one I actually managed to beat the first time like this, where I just, you get a gold dagger, and you hit this guy, and then you have to manipulate that person to cast a wind spell to throw you onto the gold, and then you get the gold, you get dragged over there, you aggro the the merchant and things work that's not what we're going to do today 
we are just going to kill him like that. If you really just want to get through this and get away with murder, because isn't that the point of that, we aggro the shopkeeper, throw the knife, here he goes. And you get your golden dagger back, and remember, you have a ring of war. So you can still just buffer, hit, buffer, hit, buffer, hit. Cheesing? Absolutely. But you know what? Cheesing can be just as important as uh, wind spells dragging you around. So unfortunately, I've not quite mastered the skills of getting that wind spell to go, but I will be, I will happily, happily put up a, uh, another video once I get a little bit more practice with that. But there you go, actually. I'm going to have just one video. You, either you've watched the four separate videos or just the one separate video for how to get away with murder or just the whole shebang all at once. I do appreciate you sticking by. Feel free to subscribe, like, or comment for more Crypt of the Necro Dancer action. But this is Asher. That's it for now. Thanks for sticking around. I will see you next time where hopefully we can put some of these skills to use to the beat or if we're not playing as Bard, to, or if we're playing as Bard, to the not beat. Because it's just kind of an interesting, different game way to run it. But thanks for watching. Take care.